Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Amanda from the Lincoln County Public Library, and welcome to Online Storytime. Today, we are going to talk about dinosaurs. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, Chloe and Willa. Good morning, Miss Julie. Good morning, everybody. It is good to be here with you guys this morning. We are going to read some books about dinosaurs. I'm very excited to read these silly books about dinosaurs. All right. Can you pat your head? Good job. Can you pat your shoulders? Good job. Can you clap your hands? Good job. You're going to clap and say hello. Are you ready? We clap and say hello. We clap and say hello with our friends at story time we clap and say hello good morning everybody all right today is thursday can you show me your h in sign language and we spin it around in a circle like this and it means thursday 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 good job thursday 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 today mm -hmm. is thursday and today's number is 21 that's a big number 21 all right, so we have a special friend here this morning. Let me show you. All right, our special friend is, what kind of animal is that? Yes. Yeah, good job. That's a fish. And this is Freddie the fish. Can you say good morning, Freddie? Good morning, Freddy. Good morning. And Freddy the fish brought some things today that start with the letter F. He brought us a F F fire. fire. Good job. F F fire, fire starts with F. Good job. Oh, he also brought us a F F feather. feather. F F feather starts with F. And a fa fa fence. Fa fa fence starts with F. Oh, and a number, the number five. Fa fa five starts with F. Oh, and he brought us some fa fa feet. Fa fa feet start with F. Can you wiggle your feet? Fa fa feet. Good job. And one more thing, he brought us up. Fa fa fox. Fa fa fox starts with F. Good job. Freddie the fish brought us lots of things to today that start with the letter F. All right, now we're gonna do our letter F in sign language. It looks just like okay. That's my library assistant, Bella. Say good morning, Bella. Say good morning. Good morning. All right. My library assistant, Bella, was helping us do our letter F in sign language. F. Good job. And you know what's really cool? This is Thursday. And if you spin your F in a circle like this. Oh, hang on. Right here. There you go. If you spin your F in a circle like this, it means Friday, 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 Friday. So everybody give me a thumbs up. This means tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. And guess what? Tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday, 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 Friday. Yes. Yay! Good job. All right. Good morning, Anna B. Good morning. Thank you, everybody, for being with us here this morning. We are so excited to have you here. All right. We need to see what the weather is like. Can you guys help me? Are you ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there sun? What's it like today, everybody? What's it like? Sunny. Yeah, it's sunny. Yeah, yeah, it's sunny and a little cool and it'll be a little warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a little rainy this week, so I'm happy that we're having a sunny day today. A sunny day today. 
All right, we are going to read books today about dinosaurs. And our first book is called How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets? Look at this dinosaur. He thinks he wants a pet tiger? Oh no. He wants a pet tiger. Oh no. I don't think he wants a pet tiger. Do you want a pet tiger? Oh no, I don't want a pet tiger. So the author of this book is Jane Yolen. So we're going to sing our author song. Are you ready? We're going to sing the author writes the words. Ready? The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho, did you know the author writes the words? Good job. Good job, everybody. And the author of this book is Jane Yolen. Now, Mark Teague, he drew all the pictures and he drew some really nice pictures for this book. He drew all the pictures. Yeah, all right. How do dinosaurs pick out his, how does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick and a net? Should he just go look around for pets? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's trying to get that kitty cat out of the tree. Can you see him? Oh no. Does he head to the zoo and take home a big cat? Uh oh. And what does his mom have to say about that? I think she would say, no, no. Look at his mom. She said, oh, no, you can't do that, dinosaur. No, no. Does he, does she drag a, a huge elephant back in a wagon with both its long trunk and its wee tail a dragon? Oh, no, look at that poor elephant. Does he want to go home and be a pet? No. No. Oh, uh oh. Or speaking of dragons, does she go acquire a high flying beastie who loves to breathe fire? Oh, no. I don't think so. It's a good thing that dragons are pretend. Does he pick out a boa constrictor for play? Does it look at his dog in a very odd way? Look how big that snake is. I like snakes, but I don't think we should have a boa constrictor. They get really, really big. Does he sneak an iguana inside of his cap? Uh-oh, look. Is that where you should keep an iguana? Not on your head, silly dinosaur. Or lead home a kangaroo by a long strap? Should you have a kangaroo as a pet? No, that's a wild animal, silly dinosaur. Does he ask for a manatee and maybe a whale or wish for a shark that he can keep in a pail? I love manatees. Those are my favorite animals, but I don't think we should keep one as a pet. Look where he has his shark. Is that a good place for a shark? No, silly dinosaur. Yeah, they go, they need to go to the ocean. Does she carry off tortoises, zebras, and mink, giving them hay and cola to drink? Is that what you think? Look at that. She took a tortoise and zebras and a mink. Oh no. Should you have a zebra in your house? Oh no. And she's giving them all, she's giving them all soda. She's giving them all pop to drink. Do they want to drink that? No. No. So silly. Oh no. A dinosaur doesn't. She knows what to do and she never brings anything home from the zoo. Okay, so you never, never, never bring animals home from the zoo. No, no. He goes to a shelter or a pet store or farm. Oh, that looks like a much better pet. What is that? A dog. A dog. That's right. Yeah, that's a much better pet. To find a small creature who will do no harm. Oh my goodness, that's much better. Look at those. Now he might get some, Bunny. some bunnies. That would be a good pet. That's much better than a tiger. He brings home a kitten or a hamster or pup that he can teach manners as they grow up. Look, 
He's got a puppy and a hamster and a kitty. That is much better. She cares for her pet and gives love even more. Look at that. That dinosaur has a puppy. Big hugs to you, friends. Little dinosaur. Look at that. Giving hugs. Oh, giving hugs. Oh, and that puppy's giving kisses. That is so nice. That is so nice. Okay, we are gonna sing our A, B, C's. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job, everybody. All right, we have another book. But first, we are going to sing a song about dinosaurs. And we're gonna have one little dinosaur, two little dinosaurs, three little dinosaurs. And we're gonna count all the way to 10 little dinosaurs. And our dinosaurs are gonna say, roar, roar, roar. Are you ready? We're gonna start with one little dinosaur, ready? One little, two little, three little dinosaurs, four little, five little, six little dinosaurs, seven little, eight little, nine little dinosaurs, ten little dinosaurs go rawr, 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 Good job. Now we're going to start with ten dinosaurs and we're going to count all the way till we only have one dinosaur left. Are you ready? Ten little, nine little, eight little dinosaurs, seven little, six little, five little dinosaurs, four little, three little, two little dinosaurs, one little dinosaur says, rawr, 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 Good job. Good job. All right. This book is called How Do Dinosaurs Stay Safe? It's important to stay safe. Then no dinosaur is supposed to go in there. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. These are silly dinosaurs that live with people. So silly. How do dinosaurs stay safe all day? Whether at home, at school, or at play. Does he climb up too high? Oh, no. Look, when you climb up too high on a ladder, you could fall down. Is that safe? No, that's not safe. A big pet dog. Or jump on his bed? Oh, oh no! We learned about that the other week when we read the monkeys and they were jumping on their beds. Are we supposed to jump on our beds? No. Does he race on his bike with no helmet on his head? Oh no, that's not safe. Tell the dinosaur, say, that's not safe. That's not safe, dinosaur. Is he, is he rough with the cat? Does he stand up on chairs? Oh no, is that safe to stand on a chair? No, no, say, that's not safe. That's not safe, dinosaur. When mama says no! Does he run down the stairs? Uh-oh, what happened? He ran down the stairs too fast and he, oh, he fell down and bumped his tail. Oh no, we have to be safe and go down the stairs slowly. If anyone dares him, does he always try to jump from the rooftop to see if he can fly? Oh no, dinosaur, is that a flying dinosaur? Mm-mm, no, you gotta be safe on the ground, dinosaur. No, no, dinosaur, no, no. Oh no, a dinosaur doesn't, and I will tell you why. When crossing the street, he holds mama's hand tight, and he's ever so watchful to cross with the light. Do you guys know every time you cross the street, you cross with a grown-up and you look both ways and make sure nothing's coming before you cross the street. This dinosaur is being very safe. He's careful with forks and knives and spoons when he eats. Look, he's being so careful. He's cutting up his food so nicely. Oh, good job, dinosaur. He never goes off with strangers he meets. 
Look, he's, he waved, he said hi, but he's going to go back to his house. When swimming with friends, he's careful to be right at the spot where his papa can see. That's very important. If you go somewhere with your grown-ups, you always have to make sure that they can see you. That way, that way you don't feel scared and they don't feel worried. They, everybody knows where everybody is all the time. That's very important. He wears a good helmet when riding his bike. Look at that. He's wearing a helmet on his head. That's going to protect his head if he falls off his bike. Then he won't have to worry about hurting his head. He's got a helmet on his head to protect his very smart brain. We all have to wear helmets when we ride bikes. I wear a helmet when I ride my bike too. He takes bottles of water when he goes on a long hike. That's good. That's being safe. You don't want to go on a long hike with long hike without a bottle of water because then you might get too thirsty. That's a good idea. Good job, dinosaur. Always safe, never sorry. In playtime and fun, our dinosaur knows how to dial 911. If he ever had an emergency, then he knows how to dial the emergency number to get help. He's careful, not fearful. So there's a big roar. Oh, can you give him a big roar cuz he's always careful. Ready? Roar! Good job. Good job. Because he's careful, not fearful. Here's a big roar. Look at him being so careful on those swings. Good job, dinosaur. Stay safe, play safe, little dinosaur. Good job. It's important that we always stay safe and play safe. Playing is so much fun, but we have to make sure that we're playing safe. We're not jumping on beds or standing on chairs. And when we're crossing the street, we're always crossing with a grown-up. Good job, dinosaurs. All right. Hello, Miss Mary and Cora and Sadie and Anna. All right. Good morning, everybody. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you guys like that song. Thank you guys so much for being with us here today for Dinosaur Story Time. All right. We are going to wave and say goodbye. Are you ready? We wave and say goodbye, we wave and say goodbye, with our friends at story time, we wave and say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for joining us for online story time. We'll be here next Thursday at 10 o'clock. Oh, there's my puppy. <laughs> Hi, Mozzie. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining us for online story time. We'll be here next Thursday at 10 o'clock. Make sure you join us on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock for online STEM. Thanks so much. Say bye. Bye. Thanks, library assistant. <laughs>